Hi, this is Joe from eattheplanet.org. I'm going to show you how to identify a uh, eastern red cedar. We have one here, and this is a typical shape of an eastern red cedar. When they get bigger, sometimes they'll take on a more irregular shape, but especially when, they, when they're small, they have that uh, pretty regular shape with a single stem. Uh, a few factors, you could start by looking at the bark. It, it starts to, it's shaggy, peely bark with some red underneath, uh, but they're really named after their wood color. Inside the heartwood is, is a dark red, but this is a pretty good identification feature also. Uh, the next thing is to look at the needles, and there's something unique here with the needles. Uh, they've got two different types of needles. Uh, they've got these long needles right here. Um, and those are the newer growth, so at the tips of the branches you'll more often see these long needles. Um, but most of the needles on the tree are not shaped like this. They're older needles, and they're shaped like this. Uh, get closer there. There you go. And they're, these are described as scale-like needles because they're so close to the stem, they don't stick out at all. Uh, the other ones, as you saw, stick out a little bit. These are r right against the stem. Uh, what you can do with eastern red cedar is forage for um, foliage and berries to make tea. Uh, eastern red cedar is in the same, it is actually a juniper. Its genus is juniperus. Um, and you don't want to make the mistake of harvesting a small shrub like juniper because some of those may be uh, hybridized with toxic species. So eastern red cedar is a tree shape and that's important. Um, so if you're unsure, wait till, you know, uh, harvest from one that's obviously a large tree shape uh, because the shrub-like ones, like I said, can hybridize with toxic species. Um, and there's, I think, only one other type of large tree-shaped juniper uh, that looks like this. So that's a safe way to determine which ones to harvest from.